Welcome back to Sip the Telefilms. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today's topic is Devin Duvernay, who I'm calling the unsung hero. Uh, eight catches, eight targets, three touchdowns, and a, a kickoff return touchdown. Playing a lot better than, than I thought he would uh, from a guy that I didn't think would barely get on the field this year to being an impact player so far in the first three games. Let's look at what Devin Duvernay has done so far in this short season. Roll the intro. Before we get started, I want to thank all of the contributors to Sip the Tally Films, whether it be by becoming a member or a Patreon subscriber. I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart, and you can see those names on the screen as we speak. Also, I want to thank everybody, thank everybody that came through with Super Chats either Sunday during the live stream or last night during the Ravens Roundtable. As you can see those names scrolling up the screen right now on one of these sides, I want to say I appreciate you guys, and now let's get into the film. All right, let's take it, uh, Devin DuVernay's 2022 so far. Again, shocking what he's doing so far to me. I didn't expect much. Of, I think... Four touchdowns from him is what I expected the whole season. He has that in three games. Give me a slot right there. And I love this concept. I love this concept. Even though I think this is complete, this is a little uh, stick concept that I like. And in stick concept, you got you to gotta have three things in stick concept. You got to have a guy going to flat who is smart. You got to have like a, like a hitch guy that's going to kind of play off of him. You got a guy running mandatory outside release go just in case they try to play him there and then squat on it. Then you got that go to try to beat the safety. So I love this concept. This is a great first down play, in my opinion. He tried to fit in the window. Yeah, he did catch it. Now you're looking at, it was second and about seven. Now you're looking at third and two. Easy play. Like extended running play to me. All right, let's take a look at the next play. Duvernay is here. They run the screen for him, which is kind of what we expected them to do for him anyway, to run screens for him, to use him in jet sweeps and stuff like that. What you can see happening, he just marked going to come off and should block this guy. Um, I think this is Baby going to come off and should block this guy. Dude, they should foot fire and come behind Mark. I think he gets a little bit too afield and it's too tight to Mark, but he really should just kind of foot fire in his place and then come straight down this line. That way he catches the ball behind Mark and not is in – uh, not close to running into him. He went a, li went a little too far field, but Mark should attack more, but I know what Mark is doing. Mark is fading. He's feathering to make sure he gets that outside shoulder of that defender, so that way he'll have leverage on him. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to make sure he gets that outside leverage on the defender, so when Dubin gets it, he has this lane to go. And he gets the outside shoulder. But again, had Dubin come flat right here, that collision don't this this don't take place. If Duvernay's coming flat down the line, he gets the ball. Now he's clear to get out here and do something. He don't have to worry about this traffic right here. And if he gets it straight down the line, he's not a factor. He's a factor late, and then he can kind of play off of Bateman's block. He can maybe stick that and then go right behind that block and then have one on one with this guy. But again, the fact that he's being used. Um, so far, I, I like it. I like I like what he, what what we what we putting out there for him. All right, here he is here. As your number two. Well, technically, he's your number three. That uh, we got a four receiver circle. One, two, three, four. I think they're gonna motion Drake to the backfield. Now he's your outside receiver. He's your number one. Check out the play because of the alignment. Good check by Lamar. And now it's just bombs over Baghdad. So, so some good things about this. Obviously caught the touchdown. Good things about this. He's a tight alignment. So with him being a tight alignment and this guy really not taking away the outside leverage, his release is going to be easy because he's not taking outside leverage. Lamar knows he has a guy that can certify fly. So all he has to do is get get a wide release. And no matter how wide he gets, as long as he stays inside these numbers and then just outrun the guy. 
He look, he gets real wide. The DB never even gets a, gets a hand on him. And now it's a foot race. Lamar has to throw it to a spot, and he just got to get there. So what I like about it is, got the guy beat. Now he, the guy's starting to reach for the ball because he see probably sees Devin, Devin, Devin Duvernay's eyes get big, realize the ball is coming. And that's what a lot of DBs, a lot of young DBs don't realize. When the ball is coming for the receiver, if his hand, because some of them have late hands, but when them eyes blow up like that, that ball is on his way. So that's when you can start trying to play the ball. He reaches out and grabs him. Doing they fights through this contact. Still goes up and gets it. And then comes down with it. That's the part I'm impressed with. Fighting through this. Through all this right here. Two hands on him. Ball coming. He's trying to swat it through. Strong hands and, gets the kick and completes the kick. That's what I'm impressed with. And these are things you see 6'4", 6'3", 6'5", guys do. Doing they is not that. Duvernay's 5'10", maybe. All right, let's see what we got here. Duvernay is the outside receiver again, I think. Love to see it. Love to see it. So basically, they're gonna do a a a squat a squat post for the most part. So you're gonna get Mark. Mark's gonna come in and sit in the middle of the field, draw the attention because everybody knows Lamar loves to throw to Mark in the red zone and on third downs. This guy's gonna jump it, which is I think is a cover two look. And that when he jumps it, Duvernay just runs away from the other safety. So they're running mesh down here. These guys meshing. And they, in, in the mesh, you're always going to have a hook, and you can have a post on it. You can have a curl on it. You can have a corner. The Ravens chose to put a post behind this, this curl up right here, which is good design. You see 29 jumping it. Now, all Duvernay got to do is outrun this cat over here, which he does. You know, jumps for no reason, but still, we'll take it. Touchdown. We'll take it. Again, good play design. Again, this is touchdown number two for him This in game one. Had two touchdowns in game one. Again, I expect them to have about three or four, maybe five the whole season. He's sitting at four already. Let's go to the next game. Versus the Dolphins. I don't think he had but one opportunity versus the Dolphins. I don't think. Right here. Another change, another play, which I love to see. I haven't seen Lamar do that in past years. Deep in, love it. Deep in, I like the spacing too. I like the spacing between him and Bateman. He sticks the foot in the ground. Now, I would love to see him come flat, er, but the fact that he drifted on this on this turn helped him out, helped him avoid this dude. Cause if he would come flat like you know I would like guys to do, he would have would have been right behind him. But he gonna drift and gonna kind of get in kind of open spot, which is it's no problem. You you adjust your routes based off where people are. Cause like I said, if he came down the line, he would have ran into him. The fact that he drifted here, now he gonna get behind him and he doesn't know where he is and he's gonna get into this open window. Goes up and gets it. Goes up and high points it. High points it. Good part about it. Look at that. Catching that ball with his hands. Above his head. Eyes go above your head. As long as you keep your eyes on it, you should catch it. We'll take it every day. Every day. All right. Another bunch located. Another bunch formation, rather. He's at the bottom of the bunch. Get another check. Same type of situation. Look like the same play, honestly. The same him and Bateman do the same thing. But now there's no no guy sitting here. So now he can flatten it out. Look at the nuance. Now he flattened it out. There's no guy sitting there. He's able to get the catch, get the first down. You see the difference? Because he he, he took it deeper last time because we had like a whole player sitting there. And now there's no whole player, so I can just kind of flatten this thing out and come across the middle. But it's really the same concept between him and Bateman. They hit it once, they hit it again. 
this is, you know, Roman found something that worked and he came back to it. Now, this is this week versus New England. Got him right here. Copy screen right here. Mm, nice little route. Same little concept again. <laughs> this time, instead of being Bateman, it's him and uh, Mark Andrews look like it. What I like about, look at the release. He's going to widen this cat out, get him to turn his hips, then whoop, come right back inside, then run the leg cross route or the drag, whatever whatever they call it, whatever their term is. Widen him out, look at it, got the, got the corner of the hip turn, come right back inside, spins him around, and now he's open. Now break that thing across, wide open. Great route. Great route. Didn't see the nuance of this during the, the game because you don't see this film. But look, I love it. Get him to open them hips, which is what you want to do as a receiver. And now when you pivot and come back, not pivot, when you plant and come back, if they don't touch you, you did a great job. Now you super wide open. You just need a good ball. And he got one. Caught it in stride and was able to get a little yak. So that's the third time we've seen that that concept um, for Duvernay. Let's keep it rolling. Got a little red zone situation here. He is in the slot right there. This is Duvernay right here. Slot fade. Slide fade. And again, these are the catches that you think a 6'3", 6'4", 6'5", got. Duvernay is doing the stuff that I thought Polk, uh, Jamal Moore, or or um, Benjamin Victor could do. But Duvernay is filling that role nicely. What I like about it is, obviously he outruns this guy. This, this, a, lot of, this a lot of green to run a fade ball. And Lamar's, Lamar's taught, and I know if I'm the quarterback coach, and we're throwing fades in the goal line. He's taught to throw it in a bucket right here. Throw it in that bucket, somewhere in that line, and the receiver has to get there and go get it. Now, with the way he was lined up, he got a ton of room to just outrun the guy if he can get a good release, which he does. He's in front of him. But there's only so much space back here. Got his, and it's technically in that bucket, but look at him. Look at him go high point this ball. High point, high point, got it. Now, my favorite part of it is he doesn't just high point it and hold it. Watch him turn his back to the defender as he catches it so the defender can't knock it out. He's going to turn his back to it. So by the time he lands, his back is to the defender, and he just got to get his feet down, which he does. Right in front of the referee. So what we need you to do is throw your two hands up like that, like that. Great job of mousing people at 5'9", at 5'10". See if we can see uh, how it looks from the end zone as far as him catching the ball, if we can get that. Yeah, it's kind of fuzzy. But you see him high point it and then turn his back to him. Again, that's, you know... Eight catches for Duvernay so far, if you saw in the thumbnail. Eight targets, eight catches, uh, three touchdown passes, three, no, one touchdown on a kickoff return. I probably should have put the kickoff return in here too, but I didn't. Um, I'm impressed with what he's doing so far. Right now, he's looking like a wide receiver too, but the third option as a receiver. So I'm, I'm good with it. I hope his role increases. I hope his production uh, stays con constant. Uh, and we should be on our way to finally trying to gel this thing together. We get that run game together, we'll be all right. But again, I want to throw those names up there that contributed to the Super Chat either yesterday on the live stream with uh, the Ravens Roundup or Sunday with the Watch Party. Uh, those names will scroll now. And I also want to give a shout out to my, my Patreons and my members so far again before we get up out of here. Those, those are the names you see on the screen right there. And lastly, like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Peace. With the